Hi, welcome to story time for the week of May 24th. Today I thought I'd read some chick stories and then make a chicken craft. If you'd like a craft kit, you can pick it up at the library while supplies last. <clears throat> if you have any questions, please give us a call at 973-538-6161. Our first story is Chicks Run Wild. Have you ever run wild? I know I have. Every night up in their beds, pillows fluffed up by their heads. Chickens are tucked beneath the sheets. Go to sleep now, Mama tweets. Mama kisses each dear child, but when she leaves, those chicks run wild. First they wiggle and they jump, then they giggle and they thump playing swaying in pajamas when they hear their tired mama. All at once the noisy riot disappears and soon there's quiet. Mama peeks inside and sees baby chicks all catching Z's. But she catches feathers moving. Mama glowers disapproving. Then she sighs, please close your eyes. And she says her last goodbyes. One more kiss for each dear child, but when she leaves, those chicks run wild. They count one, two, three, and four, then do cartwheels on the floor. When they somersault and leap, someone sees that they're not asleep. Mama roars, you're all in trouble. Back in bed now, on the double. Wings on hip, she warns those chicks. No more games, no more tricks. One quick peck for each sweet child. She slams the door. Those chicks run wild. They begin a pillow fight in the middle of the night. As the feathers fill the air, they see Mama standing there. Baby chicks, <coughs> yells tired Mom. Look at all this chicken drama. I would like an explanation. Where is Mama's invitation? Baffled chicks stare at each other. Should they dare invite their mother? Does she really want to play? Come join us, they all say. Mama dances with each child. In the night, they all go wild. In the squall of Fluffy feathers, all the fowls sashay together. Mama shows them how to prance and how to do the chicken dance. When the chicks begin to yawn, Mama clucks, my dears, come on. But the chicks fall to their knees, moaning, bedtime, Mama, please. Mama sees that they are weepy. Her sweet chicks are finally sleepy. So she puts their things away. Hold her babies in her wings. Chicks get tucked into their beds, pillows fluffed beneath their heads, cuddling underneath the sheets. No more stirring, no more tweets. One last kiss for each dear child. She leaves the room and mama runs wild. That's chicks run wild. This next one is called This Little Chick. This little chick from over the way went to play with the pigs one day. And what do you think they heard him say? Oink, oink, oink! Oink, oink, oink! This little chick from over the way went to swim with the ducks one day. And what do you think they heard him say? Quack, 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 quack. This little chick from over the way went to lays with the cows one day. And what do you think they heard him say? Moo, 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 moo. This little chick from over the way went to jump with the frogs one day. And what do you think they heard him say? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. This little chick from over the way 
went to skip with the lambs one day, and what do you think they heard him say? Ba, 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 ba. This little chick from over the way went home to his mom at the end of the day. And what do you think she heard him say? Cheep, 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 cheep. Oink, oink, oink. Cheep, 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 cheep. Quack, quack, quack. Cheep, 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 cheep. Moo, moo, moo. Cheep. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Cheep, 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 cheep. Ba, ba, ba. Cheep, 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 cheep. And that is this little chick. This one is Minerva Louise at the fair. She's a chicken that sometimes gets things wrong. Minerva Louise loved how peaceful the farm was at night. She stared up at the stars and listened to the crickets long after everyone else was asleep. Boom! That's not a cricket. Boom! What is it? Boom! I'd better go see what's happening. Look at that. The stars are coming down from the sky. They're landing everywhere, on top of the mountains and all over the houses. Even this bulldozer has stars on it. Ooh, it goes way up high. Hey, I see some chickens down there. Oh no, these are just some stuffed old roosters. They're no fun to play with. Here are lots of nice chickens, but I can't get inside to play with them. Hmm, these chickens are all sleeping. Maybe I should rest too. I'm getting pretty tired. I just need to find the hen house. I do hope it's pretty as the horse's barn. When she finally found the hen house, Minerva Louise could hardly keep her eyes open. She found one empty nest, so she climbed in and went to sleep. In the morning, she woke up to a whole flock of farmers. One of them was her farmer. He got all excited when he saw her. He even gave her a ride home in the truck. And when they got back to the barn, he made Minerva Louise a wonderful new nesting box with stars of her very own. And that is Minerva Louise at the fair. What we're gonna make today is two chickens. So in your kit, you're gonna get one big piece of paper to glue your chickens on. You're gonna get two round yellow chicken bodies. You're gonna get two wings, two tails, two combs, two beaks, two eyes, four legs, and then you're gonna get eight little pieces for the feet because if you look closely, the leg, the middle chicken feet, the middle piece of the chicken foot is the leg. <coughs> Excuse me. So enjoy making your chickens. Have a good day. Bye-bye.